Hey guys, so this is a short video on how to fix a no crank, no start on a Skag Tiger Cat. This is the original model. Uh, there is now obviously a Skag, uh, Skag Tiger Cat 2. I apologize for the wind, but I wanted to record this and get this out there because it was frustrating. This thing's been sitting in my yard for, oh, five days now. And as you can see, I've needed to cut for some time. I usually have pretty defined stripes in this yard and it's a mixture of like Bermuda and Zoja, but got some dandelion coming through. But anyway, this video, like I said, is to share with you about what I had to do to get this thing to run. It's got the FX uh, 691V 22 horsepower Cowie on it. Um, it was intermittent when I first bought it. The guy that delivered it to me uh, mentioned that every once in a while it won't start. And so he would, um, you know, just wait and uh it would work it, it actually didn't start to get off of the trailer when he first delivered it to me and so the first thing i said i would do would be just check some of the um the relays or i guess the um safety features to determine if they were failing and honestly i never really had any issues it was random every once in a while it wouldn't start but i just wait and it would start back up well now it's not running at all it's completely dead been here for five days and so um, I've been busy and have taken a couple of different steps here to determine um, what is and isn't working. So, of course, uh, there are on these two safety features on the arms. Um, in here, you'll see there's the switch for that one, and um, it activates on this side as well. Uh, there is the seat safety switch that if you look is right here and its purpose is um, to prevent the mower from starting um, if you're not sitting on it or turn it off if you fall off and then of course uh, you've got your brake sensor here so when the parking brakes on um, you know it closes that circuit and prevents the mower from um, rolling of course in an, in an on position so i went through everything i could here i actually pulled out every one of these and put jumpers in so that they were closed circuits to make sure that those weren't the issues um still no start i went through and checked all of the points on the ignition uh, you can get a schematic online to determine what each point will do and with a simple voltmeter you can check uh, for uh, any continuity between those points to make sure that it is cycling and creating continuity. Uh, the other thing I did look online was to determine you know if this resistor here was providing ground back through the wiring to the starter solenoid. And um, I didn't actually test this the first time. I should have just gone ahead and replaced it when I thought about it, but I didn't. Um, and so I made some phone calls around town to a couple of the Skag parts distributors. Um, all of them basically had said, well, if you're, all your safety switches work, um, there's a good chance it's your starter solenoid. So if you go put the key into run mode or start mode and get underneath here on the starter, on the side of it, there's the solenoid, and underneath you see the positive post. There's another post too. And if you put a screwdriver on them, it should jump off and you should at least get something out of it. Uh, if it's if it's, if it's it's running properly, if it operates right, that should start the, the starter um, and try and crank. It may not start, um, but it may crank. Well, I couldn't get in there to do that. So I just went ahead and took the starter off with the solenoid, took it to the shop, I had these folks tested on a bench. They determined that it was the starter that was failing. It was $280 and instead of buy one, I checked with a local starter alternator rebuild group and they bench tested it and said, there's nothing wrong with the starter or the solenoid. So I put the starter and the solenoid back on the mower and started backtracking through all of the different motions I've already made here. Well, in a forum online, on the side of this mower, there's what's called your interlock module. You can see it was mounted right there. Right now it's sitting down here. I read somewhere where this interlock module can create a faulty communication or none at all 
from all of these safety features to the ground contact at the, at the starter solenoid and that can be the cause of this problem. Unfortunately, that part's $115. Um, I didn't know where I could locate it right away until this morning when I got up and made some phone calls and realized there's a local Skag dealer that's the other end of town that seems to pretty much have everything in stock. Um, so I drove over there and picked up this interlock module as well as the relay that goes underneath in the starter relay and the rebuild kits for both pumps because as you can see I've got some leaks as well as two 20 amp fuses. I came home, the first thing I did was plugged in the new interlock module, set this stuff down, this, rolled the seat down, went to start it, nothing. So, shaking my head, thinking, you gotta be kidding me. I just spent $115 on an interlock module and don't need it. So I pulled off the console over here and disconnected the other relay and put the new relay on, set the seat down, and guess what, folks? I have resolved my no crank, no start, all because of the starter relay. Um, I even tested this starter relay. Uh, I took it inside. I'll create a short video here for you to show you what I found. However, the relay works. It clicks and it actually creates continuity between the posts that are necessary. However, there is a diode inside of that relay that didn't work. And I did not know how that works. I don't even think you can test a diode. I'm not sure, maybe someone can comment in here and share that with the rest of us. But that relay failed. And a $10 part would have had me fixed five days ago uh, had I known how to find it. Um, just don't go buy a $300 starter and starter relay and don't go buy a $110 or $15 interlock module unless you've tested and replaced that relay or those fuses on the side. There's two 20 amp fuses. Thanks for watching.